I want you to do something with me really quickly as we get into our show tonight on I'm Right. Just stay with me here. And I want you to be honest with yourself. You don't have to email me your answers or anything like that. Just be honest with yourself. When I say the word communist, who do you picture? There, there's an image that pops up into your head. Don't think about it. What is that image? So for most people, understandably, for me, for maybe you, when I say the word communist, what do I picture? I picture maybe a uniformed NKVD agent in the Soviet Union. <laughs> Open up, you're going to the gulag, pounding on your door in the middle of the night. That's, that's what I picture. I picture Lenin. I picture one of Mao's red guards terrorizing little old ladies, dragging them out of their homes. These, these are the images that go into my head when I think of communism. I think of black pajamas. You know, the communists in Cambodia, when Pol Pot took over there and proceeded to exterminate 25% of his country, they wanted everyone to look the same, of course. Everyone has to be the same. That's why they eliminate all beauty and all everything, really. They would take people's clothes and they would dye all of them. They would dye everyone's clothes so everyone was dressed in all black and the same. Like These are the images that pop into my head when I say the word communist. These are the people that pop into my head. But I'm shortchanging myself and... That means my mentality isn't totally where it needs to be. Because the truth is, we are surrounded by them here in the United States of America. We are. And until you accept that, maybe I haven't fully accepted that, but until we fully accept that's who we're surrounded by, we can never, ever, ever win. We are not up against Democrats. We're not up against liberals or progressives. We are up against the exact kind of people I just mentioned in the open. We don't like to think of them in that way. This reporter, our liberal Aunt Peggy, your Democrat friend. We don't like to picture them in that way because it, it changes how we view the world. We don't like to picture them as the NKVD agent. Open up after the gulag. We don't like to picture that. We don't like to picture them beating people to death with sticks and hammers in Cambodia. We don't like, that's, it's too much to fathom. We're not surrounded by people like that. But we are. We, we really genuinely are. That's what these people believe. They have some kind of sick, demonic religion inside of them. And they believe there are good guys, that's them. There are bad guys, that's you. Anyone who wasn't part of them is a bad guy. And because they're the good guys in their minds, they believe they can and should do anything to the bad guys. Anything you want to do to the bad guys is permissible. After all, you're the good guy in this whole thing. Remember, remember the polls that came out during COVID? Remember the percentage of American Democrats who wanted your children taken away from you if you weren't vaccinated. Remember the percentage of American Democrats who wanted you locked in a quarantine camp if you didn't get your booster shot. You're not surrounded by Democrats. You're surrounded by communists who think the exact same way Lenin thought, Pol Pot thought, Mao thought. They think the exact same way. I want you to watch something. I want you to watch an exchange here. This reporter, he's with the Washington Post. I really want you to take this in, and I want you to realize these are the people you and I share a country with. Elon Musk is slated to interview Donald Trump tomorrow, tonight um, on, on X. Uh, I don't know if the president is going to tune in. Feel free to say if he is or not. Um, but I, I think that um, misinformation on Twitter is not just a campaign issue. It's an you know, America issue. Uh, what role does the White House uh, or the president have in sort of stopping that or stopping the spread of that or um, sort of inter intervening in that? Some of that was about campaign misinformation, but, you know, it's, it's a wider thing, right? What? What role does the White House have in stopping that? 
That interview took place last night. Elon Musk interviewed Trump. It was a long, long, long thing, but tons of people have watched it by now. But setting that aside, you heard that Trump was going to be interviewed by Elon Musk on Twitter. Maybe that made you happy. Maybe it made you mad. Maybe you listened. Maybe you didn't. But it never once occurred to you that the government should step in and stop a private citizen from interviewing the man running for president. But to a communist, it would never occur to him that the government shouldn't do that. Well, of course the government should step in and stop any speech I don't like or any speech I disagree with. Of course, and that's just how these people think. They can't help themselves. They're all vile, filthy little tyrannical tyrants. They're horrible little communists, and we share a country with these people. Oh, and listen to Corinne Diversity Hire's response to this guy. You've heard us talk about this many times from here, about the responsibilities that social media uh, platforms have uh, when it comes to misinformation, disinformation. Uh, don't have anything to read out from here about uh, specific ways uh, that we're working on it, but we believe that, that they have the responsibility. Uh, these are private companies, so we're also mindful of that too. Yeah, mindful of that. So mindful of that, that the communists in the White House have bragged before on camera about coordinating with these private companies to, of course, silence the bad guys. In terms of actions, Alex, that uh, we have taken or we're working to take, I should say, from the federal government, uh, we've increased uh, disinformation research and tracking uh, within the Surgeon General's office. We're flagging problematic posts for Facebook uh, that spread disinformation. Thanks. Excuse me? We're tracking? You're tracking who? Communists? We're flagging problematic posts? The White House openly admits they'll flag your post if they don't like the information you are sharing? Please stop the act. Stop this world of make-believe you live in that you, we have Democrats in this country. Democrats are gone. We have communists in this country. And if you want to know how this ends, well, do remember the interview I did with Tommy Robinson, the man who's already been to prison for being a reporter in England and a man who's about to go back. They have to control what you say. I know I look at America as having freedom of speech. Do you really have it? If YouTube, if Facebook, if Instagram, if all these platforms, TikTok, they're under their control. You only get a certain narrative. If you get pumped a certain idea, did you get real free speech on, with COVID, with all these different things, or did you get lied to? Listen to what they're doing in England. The offensive incitement to racial hatred involves uh, publishing or distributing material uh, which is uh, insulting uh, or abusive, which is intended to or likely to start racial hatred. So if you retweet that, then you're republishing that, and then potentially you're committing that offence. And we do have dedicated police officers who are scouring social media. Their job is to look for this material uh, and then follow up with uh, identification arrests and so forth. So it's a really, really serious. People might think they're not doing anything uh, harmful. They are, and the consequences will be visited upon them. They're bragging about who and what they are on camera. Of course, because they're the good guys. You're the bad guy. What can't the good guy do to the bad guy? He is officially given his own conscience a license to do whatever he wants to you. And do you see this police commissioner from over there? We will throw the false force of the law at people. And whether you're in this country committing crimes on the streets or committing crimes from further afield online, we will come after you. Being a keyboard warrior does not make you safe from the law. You can be guilty of offences of, of incitement, of stirring up racial hatred. There are numerous terrorist offences regarding um, uh, uh, the sort of publishing of material. All of those offences are in play if people are provoking hatred and violence on the streets, and we will come after those individuals just as we will physically confront on the streets the thugs and the obs who are taking, who are causing the problems for communities. Treating 
angry citizens as if they're terrorists. Just thank goodness that kind of thing can't happen here. Oh, except it already did. Do remember that when you got angry at your school for closing down the COVID masks, the whole white people suck ridiculousness that is taught in schools, and when you started showing up at your school board getting loud, making things uncomfortable for the communists, the FBI promptly convened its counterterrorism division to decide which terrorist threat label to put on you. We do not have Democrats. We don't have liberals. We don't have progressives. We have communists. Understand that and prepare accordingly. All that may have made you uncomfortable, but I am right. I would thank you for coming to my YouTube channel, but I know how brilliant it is, and I know you love it here. So subscribe and watch. We're going to start really ramping things up and putting some funny stuff, some interesting stuff out there, some collaborations. Either way, my YouTube channel is officially the place to be. So stick around.